Okay, this is user selection screen. Just select the user. Uh, the users are embedded in the program because I, I couldn't be bothered uh, inputting text because inputting text in Pygame is just a bit of a pain in the ass. So, okay, so we'll select Mummy. There we go. Right. How, how this program, well, I'll just go through it first. Um, it asks you nine questions and. Uh, so you just. Oh no, it's not two. Two times one is two. That's nine. That's two. This is just um, showing you uh, basically um, how it works. I'll, I'll give you an explanation after I've finished. Eleven times one is eleven. Four times three is twelve. Ten times one hundred and twenty. Seven five is seven is one. Uh, oh no, it's not. What am I doing? Seven, it's eleven. Right. Okay. I'll tell you what it's doing. Right. There's um, in a typical times table, you have um, 144 different sums. You have like your one times table, twelve of those. Two times table, twelve of those. So obviously it's twelve times twelve. It's 144. Right. Okay. If you um, if you add on, add on to that uh, the division ones as well, so that's another 144, so that's 288. And what what this program does is, for each of those 288 questions, it assigns a response time at the start of 10 seconds per question. So basically, if, if you work that out, that's 3,600 seconds in an hour, divide that by 10, it's 360 questions an hour. So that, that's where your score and your I score comes from. So what, what it basically does, it adds up the total of all those 288 questions, divides it by 288 to get an average amount of time per question, and then divide in seconds, and that and divides 300 3,600 by that and then it gives you uh, how many questions per hour you get that's how it scores okay how it chooses which questions to give you right that this is quite interesting right all, all the questions are stored in order to begin with so if if, if, I, if I if I didn't shuffle them it, the questions that I give would be one times one one times two one times three one times four so first of all, I shuffle them, so so they're all mixed up, and then what it does is it chooses the ten questions that have the longest response time. So let's say you're having difficulty with a particular question, I don't know, and you got like I, I say, every single question its response time is initialized to ten seconds. So if if you if you answer the question in like twelve seconds. Then that twelve that question will be the highest response time. So so when it so what so when you want it so when it give you the next ten questions, that question will still be there because it because it knows that you're having trouble with it. So it's going to make you do it again and again until you're not having trouble with it. So anyway, so that's what it does. It goes through ten questions, then asks you if you want to play it again. And it actually stores the response times in a file, in your own file. Like uh, this will be, uh, I selected Mummy's Mummy as a user, so she'll have her own file of response times. Plus, it'll store the I score as well. So yeah, that's how it works. And it's just a drill, and it'll and it'll ask you multiplication questions and division questions. And it'll store response times for each one. And uh, yeah, basically, it's just trying that the idea of it is to try to improve um, your response time and try to get you better at your times tables, basically. So, is it the best um, times table drill program ever? Probably not. But it's the best one I've ever written. So, okay. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.